Hey everyone, welcome back to Yellow Jacket Garage. Hey, today, um, well, let me back up and explain something real quick. It's been really a, a couple of months since I've done any videos. I've got some other stuff that I was in the works on, but uh, kind of slow right now because for about a month ago I had, well, a little bit over a month ago, I had a, a um, cervical fusion in my neck. So I've been kind of out of kind of out of it a little bit, not, not doing a whole lot. So, but um, kind of getting back into the, into the swing of things and I must, I'm suspecting that next week I'll get the doctors okay to go whole hog back into having fun and working on stuff and so really been kind of taking it easy and I'll still be taking it easy for a few days but uh, I did want to uh, touch bases about two months ago or so I released a video uh, where I ceramic coated the wheels on the Mercedes and uh, it's been I think well, it's been that long. I think I hosed them off just with a garden hose one time with some high pressure water just out of the nozzle and it cleaned them up pretty good. But um, I wanted to dig a little bit deeper into that today and actually clean them up. And then I got a, uh, never used one of them before and whatever, but I got a phone cannon and so I want to try that out later. And so that might be another video, but uh, um, I'm going to do a quick review on the one that I bought, see how it works. And uh, anyway enough of that one so let's go ahead and dive into this thing what i'm going to do first is uh, i'm going to just use the pressure washer and hit the wheel with pressure washer and the, you know high pressure water and see how that does at cleaning the wheel up and if it does great then i won't worry about doing anything else to it i don't anticipate it taking a whole lot to uh, clean these wheels up since they were ceramic coated but this way you'll be able to see uh, kind of how that goes how they look and so how easy it is to clean up because there was some some discussion about it people want to know how easy it was to clean them up and, and all that good stuff and so we're going to find out so let's go ahead and take a look okay so what i've got on there is the uh the 40 degree tip on the end of the pressure washer and this is a, a typical um, not a high dollar pressure washer from Lowe's. It's a, an electric one, the green works type. So let's see how well that works right off the bat. Okay, so there's that one, and that's just with a uh, high pressure. Granted, this is the front wheel, and so there's a lot more brake dust and uh, grimies on the front wheel because that's the one that uh, does most of the work. So um, I think I'm going to try a couple of the other products that I've got here real quick, let that soak in. But uh, um, I do have brushes and everything else. I just was hoping to maybe it'd be easier and not have to use those. But uh, let me grab the other stuff and we'll find out. Okay, the first one that I'm going to try, I'm going to try this on the driver's side. And it's just the, it's, I had it laying around in the garage. It's uh, the Meguiar's Hot Rims Wheel and Tire Cleaner. Heck, who knows? They probably don't even make this stuff anymore. It's been sitting for so long, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and spray it on, let it sit a little bit, and then uh, pressure wash it off. But uh, I'm not going to bore you with the details of spraying it on because you all know what a spray bottle works like. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, it's said for me to wait a maximum of 30 seconds, and so it's been about 30 seconds or so, and... Well, okay, looking down in there, I can see where there's some spots that I'm going to... I'm going to actually have to get the brush out and uh, brush them a little bit, but uh, honestly, I think that was pretty easy. And if I wanted to do it real quick, down and dirty, and not worry, really worry about brushing it, that stuff would work out okay. And so I did read the instructions, and it said that uh, wet the wheel down first, and then uh, spray it on, let it sit for a maximum of 30 seconds, and then wash it off. And that's basically what I did. So... Um, there is uh, some shadows on the, the brake caliper. I'm going to have to get in there with pressure washer a little bit and hit them better because they got hit with the stuff, so that stuff should have come off. And so I'm going to go ahead and clean those up and uh, let them dry off a little bit and take a look at them and see what they look like. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to lie, that was actually way easier. I mean, I know I could pull the wheel off and uh, clean the barrels and everything else, get them really super clean, but really all I did, I sprayed on that uh, wheel cleaner from Meguiar's well, rinsed it down, got it wet, uh, knocked off any of the loose stuff, sprayed it down with that stuff, let it sit for 30 seconds, and then pressure washed it. Now, I did come back in a couple of spots with um, 
a brush, one of those the wheel brushes, and got in there and just kind of cleaned up a little bit of stuff. But uh, there was no big heavy scrubbing or anything like that. It was actually uh, surprisingly very easy. You know, and that's one of the things that gets me. See the wheel weights there? And then back in there, there's more wheel weights. Um, I won't say who did the mounting and balancing of these, but uh, their initials are discount tire. But uh, I don't know, I would do it differently for myself, but I get it, they're, they're under a time crunch. So anyway, I digress. Uh, the, big, the biggie is that uh, I think the ceramic coating really worked, really made it a lot easier, really pretty quick. It only took me about, you know, this wheel was uh, goofing around with a little bit, maybe five minutes or so. So uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and try the other product on the other side, but I'm gonna do the same thing. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about the rear wheels so much because they are really pretty close to clean anyway. I mean, I am gonna, I'm gonna wash them, but I'm not gonna worry about showing that, that whole process because uh, they're uh, in pretty good shape. So anyway, I'm gonna see if the other side makes any difference, easier or more difficult uh, based on the two products. And I think that'll be it. Okay, so maybe I lied. I wanted to bring this over here, get a good close-up of the way the wheel looked to begin with, and it is really pretty nasty. Driving them in the rain, a little, little bit of brake dust here and there, and they are pretty heavily kicked on, so uh, that's going to be the before. And then here in a few minutes I'll show you the after, but I'm not going to record the washing of this whole wheel. I want to say for this side, this is the passenger side front, I use the Black Magic No Scrub Wheel Cleaner. And uh, I didn't read the destructions on the back before I went ahead and got the wheel wet and then sprayed it on. And I looked at the instructions on this bottle and it says spray it on dry, allow it to set for one to two minutes, and then hose it off with cool water. Wipe away remaining brake dust and grime. Extremely severe scuffs may require agitation with a brush and or a second application. Um, we'll see how this stuff turns out, but uh, I'm not going to lie. Um, the other stuff seemed to be instantaneous when I hit it, and this stuff kind of just stared at me. I put some on the back wheel too that was still dry, and I wanted to see how it reacted, and that's basically what I got out of it was um, kind of a blank stare. So we'll see how it turns out. Uh, wait till it's done before I say anything bad about it, but uh, maybe I won't I won't say anything bad about it. I hope. I hope it works. If not, I still have some left in the other bottle, and uh, I honestly think I'll probably buy more of that if I can still if I can still get it. So all right, let's uh, get back to the project. Okay, well, enough with that. Um, let me do this. The Black, was it Black Magic? No scrub wheel cleaner? Um, that, that'd be a hard pass on that stuff. Uh, this Meguiar's Hot Rims, this stuff works fantastic. I think it's a little bit more aggressive because it says don't leave it on for more than 30 seconds before you hose it off. Makes sense, but uh, this stuff flat worked. Now when it came to the Black Magic one, I didn't do too much work. I didn't like it. If I buy something, it should work. I did as much work with the brush as that stuff did taking stuff off. So anyway, um, I tried it the right way on the rear wheel. Yeah, no go. So anyway, I would say that uh, as far as that one goes, um, definitely do the Meguiar's Hot Wheel product. And it was really, really good. So the ceramic coating 100% worked. Uh, held it, helped it come off very easy, uh, very little work. And so um, well worth the time and effort of uh, applying it. So if you're thinking about applying ceramic to your wheels, absolutely do it. Follow the instructions and uh, clean them up really, really good. Uh, hit them with wax and grease remover to make sure that they're clean before the ceramic goes on. Uh, apply it in uh, accordance with what the manufacturer's instructions are. And then enjoy because uh, far easier to clean them up with a, a lot of brake dust. And that's months worth of brake dust that was on there and uh, they came out really really good so I'm, I'm tickled with it now i've got one more wheel to do and then uh, we're going to go on to the next the next project in the next video so 
Anyway, hey, thanks for watching Yellow Jacket Garage. I hope that this was helpful to you as far as making a decision as to whether you want a ceramic coat anything. Um, and I did ceramic coat the top of the car too, so that should help the cleanup a little bit easier. I know it certainly beads up water when it's on there. So anyway, um, that said, I uh, appreciate you being here watching, and if you have not already done so, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Share it with your friends, uh, give it a thumbs up if it was helpful to you, and uh, by all means, if you've done some of this stuff, drop a comment down below. Let's talk about it, because uh, the channel doesn't do any good if I'm not helping anybody out. I need to get that feedback from everybody that's watching that says, hey, that was helpful, or hey, could you try this, or try that, or um, if there's other things that you have in mind that you'd like to see, if it's possible for me to do it, I will do it. Uh, I've got some upcoming videos and uh, for some other topics, but uh, all in all, it comes down to whether the viewer wants to see something, whether I'm going to do it or not. If, if it's within my power, I will do it. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, as always, we'll see you on down the road.